Hi everyone, welcome to the Greenmont Sustainability Customer Reference Series, sponsored by SAP. We're in the Max Planck Institute for Biochemistry, uh, part of the Max Planck Society, and with me I have Dr. York Titter. Uh, Dr. Titter, can you explain to us your role in the Institute here, and also something about the Max Planck Society? Yeah, uh, two years ago I started as a project leader of the safety project, which was implemented in the Max Planck Society to all uh, eight different institutes we have in Germany, all over Germany. We have laboratories in the, in the first two sections. And in this um, the laboratories, we are working with radiation, we are working with uh, radioactive substances, we are working uh, with hazardous substances, with uh, biological toxins, and thus some regulations of the work safety has to be fulfilled in order to make a safe environment for all the workers here. Uh, how has that been handled in the Max Planck Society to date? Um, you have to make risk assessments for every working area. You have to do uh, incident management in, in the sense of you have to monitor what happens. You have to do uh, safety regulations or safety instructions on a yearly basis. You have to do the safety instruction for newcomers. You, you mentioned you've rolled out the SAP Environment Health and Safety solution. Uh, can you give me some practical examples of how that's helping you in the, in the organization, in the, in the institute? For example, you have to make a risk assessment of the working area each year and that you have to do in a written form. In former days we did that documenting in, 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 in Word files and then we uh, did it again in the year after but we will never have been sure whether we covered all the necessary things. What is doing what, what we are doing now we have guided processes and you are uh, guided by 2000 questions and you have to answer them or you have to tick them whether you are concerned with that issue or not. If you are not concerned with that issue uh, then you don't go into any more detail, then you don't need to answer all the 2000 questions. Maybe you can be over with only 100 or 200 questions, especially if you are running only an office or don't have laboratory work. Okay. This is one of the examples. The other example would be safety instructions you have to do on a yearly basis. You have to repeat that. And all the newcomers, they have to have an initial instruction uh, on the safety regulation, fire preventing measures, and so on. And all these are repetitive uh, issues. And of course, all what is repetitive, uh, you can easily done by uh, can easily be done by the computer. In case of the incident management, which is now implemented since June two thousand and eleven, um, every coworker can. Uh, can report on an incident which he experienced and all the responsible persons then get notice of this incident. In former times we had to go through the working area areas and look what happened. Now at times we have a survey on the screen and we have all the incidents on the screen at a shot. And not only in our responsibility area, but also you can have it in the institutes or you can have it all over the Max Planck Society, depending on uh, what area your responsibility is for. So even you want to give the report to the managing, direct, uh, managing director of the institute, uh, which is also done in a yearly base, you can have the survey at one glance. Okay. And what are your plans for the solution going forward? Yeah, in the moment we have it actually in, in three different institutes as pilot institutes. This pilot phase is now extended to another 12 institutes and we want to have the experience out of that uh, in total 15 institutes and then it should be uh, rolled out to the other 65 institutes all over Germany. Great, Jörg, that's been fantastic. Thanks a million for talking to us today.